Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall Lamb Roof here. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about something we studied at East Columbus Christian Church. Um, we talked about uh, Galatians. Uh, I got the paper right here. The, there's four weeks worth of stuff and I didn't get everything I didn't get everything written down. And in this one I'm just going to go over, in this video I'm just going to go over the first one. I'll do I plan to do three more videos on uh, one for each handout we got for different weeks. And this is about uh, the study of Galatians. And I'm just going to, like I said, brief overview of what we talked about. Some of the questions, some of the answers, and hopefully you'll learn something that's important. Well, if you study the Bible, of course you're going to learn something that's important. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so the first question is, what are the two major problems Paul wrote to the Galatians about? What are the two? Let's see, I don't know if that's in focus. Paul wrote to the Galatians about. Okay. And the, the answer is faith versus works because you can't earn your way to heaven. It comes through uh, Jesus Christ. And, of course, the law versus uh, promise. The law, you're guilty. The promise of Jesus can save you. Now, obviously, I didn't get all, write down all the answers. So I'm just going to go over the ones where I wrote down the answers. Uh, okay, oops, right there. Okay. It says, uh, how is legalistic religion, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to get that in focus, I don't know, okay. How is legalistic religion different from the gospel of Jesus Christ? So how is legalistic religion different from, and the very, very simple answer is, legalistic religion is rules. The gospel of Jesus Christ is faith. So that's the difference. It says, uh, again, this is Galatians uh, chapter 3, for those of you who are, are just, uh, okay. Okay, it says, again, Galatians chapter 3, what can we say about the Galatians based on Paul's description in verse 2? And the, the very simple explanation is that they were being legalistic. They were more worried about the laws and following the rules than they were about the the uh, gospel of Jesus Christ. So, okay. How does the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ, free us from pride? Again, how does the gospel free us from pride? And the answer is, um, we can't have pride in what we did not earn. In other words, Jesus paid the price. How can we have pride in it? We didn't earn it. It's a gift. The Bible says we're supposed to have, if we're going to boast, we're both supposed to boast about what, about Christ and what he did. Because nothing we can do can earn it. We can't earn salvation. It's a gift. Paid for by Jesus on the cross. And I didn't get any answers on that. Okay, here's one. Um, again, a lot of stuff I didn't write down. Um, it says, uh, oh, this was one of the personal questions. Where do you struggle with freedom today? In what ways are you tempted to return to the imprisonment of your life before Christ? So, where do you struggle with freedom today? And my answer was past sins. So, um, that's where I kind of struggle. I'm concerned about my past sins. It's not something that's easy to admit, but it's true. So, I think that's all of it. Again, if you want... Uh, I'm sorry. If you want more information... Um, or want to go in depth study, get your Bible, and of course, you can go to uh, Galatians chapter 3. Okay? And there's lots of good answers and lots of good stuff to read about and consider. So, until next time, I'm Randall Lane Rue saying thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless you. Bye.